Welcome to SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo. We have a very interesting guest this time. Jeff Borman is a member of parliament uh, in Victoria, Australia. Thank you very much for coming on with us. Thanks for having me, David. There's, uh, as we were talking uh, before the show, we were talking about how I've always said uh, you're entitled to your own opinion, but not your own facts. Yeah, it's, a, it's a great and line. I think the, the interesting thing about the Australia issue is um, in our just recent election, it was bandied about we need sensible gun control like Australia and Great Britain. Um, one day everything was okay and all of a sudden they just kind of said you're turning them in, right? Yeah, look back in 1996 we had a, an incident in one of our states. Uh, it was, a, it was a, horrific, a horrific incident, uh, it has to be said. But it was perpetrated by one individual. But the response to that from the government was to take away pretty well everyone's semi-automatics, including 22s. Um, and institute a whole raft of um, gun control measures that were supposed to make us feel safer or to be safer. Um, the reality of it is uh, they took all the guns away from the law-abiding people. The criminals did not hand their guns in as criminals are, are not, you know, they, it's not what they do, they don't obey the laws so the whole thing was pointless. And since then um, we are still allowed to have some firearms, uh, bolt actions, um, pump actions, unless it's a shotgun. Uh, lever actions uh, almost is a problem going on at the moment unless it's a shotgun they're trying to ban lever action shotguns um, yeah um, um, and whilst we are allowed to have some it's so tightly restricted we even have laws that we can have firearms reclassified to effectively ban because of how they look we've had four firearms in Victoria straight pulls and pump actions that one looks like an AR-15 if it's an Olympic arm or something um, is categorized the same as an AR-15 because it looks the same, but it is a pump action. So these aren't sensible gun controls, they are ridiculous gun controls because the criminals are not obeying them. People like myself and all the other law-abiding firearms owners in the country are doing the right thing, but the crime rate was not falling. In fact, it's going up at the moment with, um, with the shootings in um, the, the city I live in, Melbourne. Um, fortunately, they're, they're not very good shots, so we're not actually getting anyone hit, but there's a lot of houses getting holes in them and things like that. But it is only a matter of time before something bad happens. And I believe their response is going to be to crack down on the law-abiding people again, because that's a lot easier. It's, it's, they're not sensible guns and laws, they're convenient gun laws. And that's the problem we have. Now, were the firearms they let you keep, was the theory they were hunting, that sort of thing? Effectively, yes. Yeah. In our country, the, the concept of any weapon for self-control, except in a couple of states, is just not there. It's not on. In my state, Victoria, you are not allowed to have anything at all for self-defense. Now, if you keep a baseball bat by the door um, for self-defense, that's bad. If you keep a baseball bat by the door for playing baseball, you're fine. It, it's really ridiculous stuff like that. Sure. Well, and, and I think, of course, you have no equivalent to our Second Amendment. Nothing at all. So the question, I guess, is... How does something like that sneak up? I mean, how, how does that happen? And, and why hasn't it been overturned? Because it's been quite a while now. Well, how it sneaks up is complacency. It's it seriously, um, everyone's said at the time, it can't happen, it won't happen. Um, it was a conservative government that did it to us in 1996. Really? Yep. Um, in fact, the worst uh, perpetrations of, of ridiculous gun control have been by our um, conservative governments. So in Australia, um, we don't have the protection of what you say of the Republican Party, which is generally pro-Second Amendment. So this is how I came to be a, a politician. It's a case of um, it just kept on going and going and going. There was no organisation to the fight back. Um, so I, I effectively just put my hand up and you know, it was a perfect storm and I got elected. And now we're in there trying to fight the good fight. But there's only two of us in Victoria versus 126 other parliamentarians. So whilst we're a voice, we are a small voice, and we just have to recognize that. What bit of advice would you give Americans on this whole subject? Never assume and go political. Next election, I think you've got midterms coming up in a couple of years, but you've got a presidential election coming up in another four years. Don't assume the Second Amendment will, will protect you. Don't assume that the president will protect you in case he gets thrown out. Make sure that you get your president back. Make sure that the, um, the Congress or the Senate has the political party, the, the Republicans obviously, that you need to protect it. Don't assume someone else will do it for you. 
um, we have the numbers. Well, there are far more law-abiding shooters in this country, obviously, but even in our own country, that, that still vote the old way. Don't do that. We need to, you need to think about what we're doing and the effect. Jeff, thank you very much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. No, thank you, David. Thank you very much. This is Jeff Borman uh, from the Parliament in uh, Australia. And you're watching SHOT Show TV. I'm David Lombardo. Thank <laughs> you.